Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the man with the star channel on YouTube. And today on the man with the star channel on YouTube, ladies and gentlemen, we have uh, this uh, pressure vessel and uh, we are taking a look inside the one-way valve. So uh, this pressure vessel is uh, a non-refillable pressure vessel uh, and uh, uh, the valve there is a one-way one, one -way valve, uh, which is interesting and why we are going to take a look at it. And uh, it has a JIC fitting and usually it has a rolled over edge, but uh, that rolled over edge is gone because I've uh, made it disappear. So uh, uh, you can now, since the rolled over edge is gone, unscrew this whole uh, plunger part. And we can take a look at that. So let's uh, put away this uh, cylinder or pressure vessel part and just take a look at this plunger because that's the really interesting part. And uh, as you can see, uh, it has a loose part there at the end and that is uh, the check valve or uh, the one way valve. And usually it has a spring in it but I've already been into this thing and uh, when I uh, disassembled it the first time uh, I uh, put the spring to the side and uh, I'm not alone in this world and uh, let's just leave it at that. Uh, so yeah, uh, the spring is gone but uh, anyway it might still be interesting to see uh, this thing. And uh, if uh, Usually it's under spring tension. It will seal the the cylinder there um, for gases that are being forced in, but not from gases being forced out. So uh, it's a one-way valve. Anyway, uh, what else we can see is that uh, uh, there are some black black smudges there under the o-ring and uh, that is a clue for us because uh, while uh, this is non-refillable you might ask uh, how do they fill it from in the first first time for the first time and uh, in the beginning of the whole thing uh, well uh, obviously this is the clue and uh, if you we remove this thing we can see there is a black plastic pin there and uh, all co correspond there and uh, so yeah uh, that's how they do it um, the spring is in there but uh, this spring doesn't uh, really force out the uh, valve because uh, it's locked in place with that pin but uh, when they filled it up uh, uh, with the gases and uh, then screwed in the plunger it obviously broke the pin so that's how they fill it uh, and then make it non-refillable by just closing it then it's non-refillable so uh, yeah that's how the whole thing works and uh, I can now thank you for watching uh, and uh, I wish you a nice day so have a nice day